God's perfect word, the King James Bible, gives us a very timely warning in 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 20. Let's read the scripture. O Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust, avoiding profane and vain babblings and oppositions of science, falsely so called. Science, there's a lot of things that are to fall under the category of science today that are not really truly scientific. They are uh, warped theories intended to scare people. A lot of the climate change stuff, the uh, hokey pokey in the shoulder, um, the, a lot of the cough cough things of the last few years, if you know what I mean. Um, there's a lot of false science out there. Evolution, of course, being another one of the big ones. Uh, but science is too archaic. We don't really even understand what the word science means anymore. It's Elizabethan English. We have to update it according to the New King James Version people. So how do they help us poor ignorant folks out? O Timothy, guard what was committed to your trust, avoiding the profane and idle babblings and contradictions of what is falsely called knowledge. We don't know what science is. It has to be changed to knowledge. Hmm. I wonder why the New King James Version people would cover up for modern science. And by the way, the uh, New King James Version was written late written in the late 1970s so you can't tell me well they just didn't understand all the false science like evolution a lot of this other stuff back then they didn't understand uh, they understood it very well uh, the King James Bible gives a very timely warning about oppositions of science falsely so called in the end times whereas the New King James Version covers up for that fact I'd get away from the New King James Version 